well, I'm in kind of a Sunday mood today. I'm going to kind of visit some jazz, so I thought I'd jazz myself up a little bit here. Um, this is such bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, these are kind of comfortable. I think I'll keep these on for the moment. Happy Sunday, everybody. February 7th. My gosh. Um... It was fun yesterday visiting Babylon Sisters uh, on the tribute album to Jeff Picaro. I so uh, I so loved him and I loved that project, and uh, that kind of takes me down another another road today. Um, David Garfield did that album, uh, the tribute to Jeff. He did he's done a lot of stuff uh, in Jeff and Carlos's memories. And it suddenly came back to me that a while back I did a, a project with with uh, David. Um, he does, he's, he's always got projects going on. And he did this uh, thing in 2018 um, called Jazz Outside the Box. And uh, I've tried to document this this track, and it's it's I can't find any information anywhere. I believe uh, Randy Brecker and Brian Auger. Are on this track, but I can't remember. I, I can't find who was playing drums um, or anything on this because when I looked at the list of credits on this, there's a ton of guys playing on this record. There's like everybody did like one or two tracks on it, so there's a huge amount of people. And and the track I'm going to play has big horn section and all that, which probably Randy maybe put together for it, but I can't get into find individual credits. So once again, if anybody can discover. Uh, who was on this track when I get to it. Um, I, it would be much appreciated. But it was funny when he called me in, he said, I, I want to I cut Red Baron. Let's, let's cut Red Baron. Now, Red Baron was one of the songs I cut on Spectrum with Billy Cobham back in 1973. And so here we are suddenly in 2018 cutting it again. <laughs> it's always a trip to go down th those kind of... Uh, Roads. It's it's like doing uh, Doctor My Eyes with Wilson Phillips, and it, it was very different than Jackson Brown's Doctor My Eyes. Um, same song, but just different thing. So, but what I thought I'd do is a, a comparative analysis today. So I thought I would play the uh, the original Red Baron that we recorded in 1973, which is Billy Cobham, Jan Hammer, Tommy Bolin, and myself. And then I'll play you the version we ended up doing with David Garfield in 2018. So here we go. This is the original Red Baron. this with the old peace love carved base
John Hammer. <laughs> One take live. No, no overdubs, no nothing. There it goes, gone. So that's the original Red Baron cut in 1973. Kind of one take, go for it, play it, have fun. Used my old uh, Peace Love carved bass on that. And then on this remake that we did with David Garfield, it's um, Frankenstein on this one. Different different things. So I just thought it was fun to have the two up. It's a, I haven't done really done many comparative studies on here. So this one, I thought it'd be fun. I just wish I could find credits on it. Um, it listed under it just says Randy Brecker, Brian Auger, and David Garfield. But there's no, I'm not listed, the drums not listed. There's a lot of stuff going on in this, but check it out. It's really fun just to hear a song done with a different kind of energy, different vibe, but same song. So here we go. This is Red Baron from Jazz Outside the Box with David Garfield.
totally different vibe and stuff, but just fun. Just, you can make these things fun no matter what. So, jazz is over. I will go back to my civilian life here. Let me fluff up a little bit what's left. Um, so I just thought it was fun, you know, remembering doing David's thing, because it came to me for after doing Babylon Sisters yesterday. So I thought I would just kind of keep that little little run going on this. I did some other stuff with them. I'm just trying to, it's hard to locate a lot of the stuff. It's a, it's a whole forensic adventure digging through all these archives, trying to find tunes and seeing, especially on some of the projects where there's maybe three bass players on different tracks and you're kind of going, which ones did I play on? And then I'm listening to them, looking for a, a, a lick that makes me go, oh, that's me on that one. So it's it's hard sometimes to tell. So I'm going to wish everybody a really wonderful Sunday. It's a beautiful day out here in the neighborhood. Um, people, Some of the people are asking me, I said, What's, what are you looking at when you're looking out your window here? Oh, hold on just a sec. Let me uh, just... Uh, Here's the yard back out there. The sky today is just, just beautiful. This is the tree the birds are always in, eating all these little tiny little pods that are on it. But it's a, it's a beautiful day out here. And uh, I have a mountain of stuff to plant. So I'm going to be spending a chunk of today doing yard work. I've got some tra more tracks to put base on. And uh, and that's it. And I don't have another interview until Wednesday, so I don't have to think about that. I've got a bunch of book orders, so I'll fill all those in today. Oh, there goes the boys. They're out on the lawn now. <laughs> Just see them out there. A couple of goofballs, that's for sure. I think they, they're playing with some toy. Um, so please, please, stay safe. Have a good day. Best to everybody, their families. Um, and uh, again, thank you to all the people who don't have weekends, who are working around the clock, trying to save people's lives, distribute vaccines, doing all this work that will pay off at some point. There's some, some signs of things slightly improving, but everybody's you know, very nervous about this being a Super Bowl Sunday and whether people will be responsible enough uh, to do the right thing today or if the numbers are going to go up again because people just couldn't help themselves and had to go party. We'll see. We'll see. You can only dictate and request so much, and then people have to take on responsibility and consequences. So that's it. So, But this was a little Red, red Baron day here. So um, I'm going to get off, get, get some... Gloves on, start working in the yard, get that done, a couple errands to run, and uh, I'm going to wish you all a wonderful day. So take good care, and I will see you tomorrow. We're almost to Carol King's birthday. It's the 10th. We have three more days, and then I'm going to play. I'll play along with some Carol tunes. I love playing Carol songs, so I'll, I'll figure that out before then. So bye-bye.